Yes, I'm Uzma Borhu. I live in Munich and I was born in Mongolia and I'm a filmmaker. And now I did two features. I'm very happy about it and yeah, that's what I'm doing. I'm writing um, and directing. And I, I did also act in my movies. Um, I think I uh, started with writing and um, somehow I thought I would be a good journalist and already started my studies there and then I discovered myself in, a, in another way that I would have something else to express and then the film school in Munich um, came up and I thought to myself okay I try this one because film was always something that interested me very much because I was watching all the time movies but I could have never imagined to do it by myself and suddenly I, th I think it was with 22 I thought to myself yes you should do it it was just a feeling and I thought it was for me it was just the right right feeling and so I started I think it's a feeling that I discover in myself and then I just uh, have to think about it a bit more and when I f see the potential to make you know a film about it then I just start writing I guess it's a very automatic um, process um, and even the script writing is also something that ha needs to come from inside out and then I go with it. And later, I think now I'm in a process where I'm just really starting to talk with other people about my script and uh, yeah, I think that's the way how, how I do it. It's, it starts with the feeling. It's, um, I discovered so far two ways of script writing. It's uh, the one that came, you know, when I'm uh, very intrigued by my topic, by the characters I feel, I see. Sometimes I, you know, don't look at me that way. I also wrote on the character, actually, uh, Katrina Stemmer, who is playing um, Eva. And, um, I wrote it, you can say, you know, from her angle, uh, from her perspective as a single mom and stuff like that. And then I just develop it for myself. And I have to read very much by my own. So I love to read books. I think that's the only way when I'm starting to feel alive. Um, so I can fantasize very much. And I don't watch m movies. I just watch movies when I need to be distracted and when I have to come up with something new and then I just dive into another world, another movie and then I feel kind of relaxed. But sometimes if there's a very good movie, I just cannot, you know, come not, you know, you, you're getting upset or you're getting emotional because of this movie and that's what I love about good movies, yeah. And so that's that's a process of writing. Yeah. Yes. Um, um, it's the first time that I get, you know, in a book by someone else, and I adapted it. She's a young writer from Germany, uh, and um, you know, I'm already in the second version, and it feels already very good. And this time I also have people around me who would help me, who would assist me. You know, I haven't got it really for, especially for Don't Look At Me That Way. And maybe I can go deeper into my, into my writing or into my thoughts with other people when, when I'm communicating with them about this. And yeah, this script, I hope that we can start, you know, in spring to go to fundings and uh, see if this script is, yeah, is, is accessible or how, how do you say, is just in a way 
um, good for the funding. We'll see about that. Yeah, uh, until now, I had some actors, um, especially in my theater plays and stuff like that. But <coughs> in my last movie, Black Milk, I was always, you know, with nomadic non-actors, actresses. And it was a very nice way because um, sometimes I feel I can really go into, yeah, into their human side and get to lead them in, in, the, in the way we need it for the movie. And it feels fresh, it feels like natural. And you do meet so many people around the world who are so, um, you know, right for the camera and who feel the camera, you know. I'm also n not an actress, but I can feel the camera, I can have this relationship with the camera. I think Ingmar Bergman, he wrote about it and that is something, you know, very special f to me. Bec and that's maybe one reason why, why I'm very curious about still acting, you know, because there is this relationship and I know what the camera wants and how it feels to be, you know, in the right angle and stuff like that. And um, I just um, think when I see that in another one, you know, another person, then I just know, all right, he is the right one to do the movie with, yeah. You spot this right away when, when you meet somebody? Yeah, it, until now it worked out so far. And in Black Milk there's Tidibish, you know, this very, um, you know, rude guy in a way, nomadic outsider, he's an outcast and I met him somewhere in the Gobi Desert through friends and family and I saw him for the first time and every one of us, you know, was blown away by his, you know, expression. And he was an artist, you can say, and, but he was just a nomad living his life. And uh, so I asked him to play my movie and he was like, yeah, if you think you need me, then I can do it. You know, kind of Clint Eastwood style. I um, would have the chance I would go for music. I would learn somehow an instrument and I would um, I would um, yeah, I think composing would be the right thing for me. I have so much feeling for music and yeah, that would be something that I really would like to do. Um, Okay, I've seen Maurice Piala, a French director. Um, I discovered him for myself recently and he was just blowing me away. I couldn't think after anymore or something like that. It was just a very catastrophic kind of feeling I had and I enjoyed it so much. He gave, he gave me a lot. And therefore, I'm very, you know, grateful. And I think I really like to explore more and more Simone de Beauvoir um, because there was there she had so many books I haven't read yet, and but I'm on the way to do it. And yeah, I just like her memoirs mm -hmm. very much. Yeah, um, I think it's very individual and it depends on your energy, how much you want to give to this industry. Um, and I mean, I, I'm observing very nice directors um, and they are very tough and they just find their own way and they do it very rough and fast. but. For me, for example, I'm, uh, you know, I'm very interested in staying myself and not to get under pressure, you know, because of money and things like that. You know, we do have so many people oppressed by money in this world and 
and you know unless you are not the one you know just try to be free from this you know I'm not a slave of money and I don't want to do that even if you're in the film industry and when I'm not part of this in film industry I don't care because I just do it but film as I said already yesterday and you feel me there too it is not important it's just a movie who cares and we have so many movies in our world today um, but if you get the chance then you gotta grab it and just do it the way you want you know don't be don't try to to cope you know d don't try to be a copy or something and that's what we definitely not need thank you thank you